Hi, welcome to The Virtuous Lady. Our goal here is to motivate, encourage, and inspire you to live your best life to the fullest. Um, if this is your first time tuning in, I'd like to say welcome. And if you're tuning in again, um, returning, I'd like to say thank you. Um, I want to say on today that I'm, I'm really excited. Um, this particular video is a lot different from our DIYs. Because in living our best life to the fullest, we have to incorporate everything, which includes self-care. So this series is going to be for the month of October, um, Self-Care 2020. And we're going to invite you in to our, our healthy lifestyle journey. We're starting off for 30 days, and we plan on incorporating this as a lifestyle. Um, so if this is something that you think you're interested in, stay tuned. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Um, we do upload videos every Wednesday, but because we're trying to cram so much in, we're going to be doing some weeks, we'll be doing multiple, more than one video. So if you hit the notification bell as well, you will be notified every time a new video is uploaded. All right? So in saying that, I wanted to put out a disclaimer um, that I'm not a nutritionist at all. Basically, it's things that I've learned um, from going to UB, taking classes, it's things that you and I already know the things that we shouldn't eat. Um, and it's things that I have researched as well for my personal journey that I'm sharing with you. All right, so I'm not a nutritionist. If anything seems <clears throat> unfamiliar with you, feel free to consult your physician um, to find out if it's gonna be anything that's gonna be hazardous to you, okay? All right, what does healthy lifestyle include? Um, it includes healthy food choices. And by the way, you see me looking down. I have so much to cram in in such a little time so this video won't be too long that I just took notes, okay? So <clears throat> follow along with me. But it does include healthy food choices. It includes exercise. It includes skincare, body care, and we're gonna include some other things in the body care as well. And attitude. And at the end, we're gonna tally our results and we will share those results with you. So as you see that th this particular series is gonna be very personal, because I usually don't go public with a lot of stuff. But if it's to help anybody or motivate anybody, um, we're gonna do it. And I thank God that my husband is on board with me. He decides to join in with me for the month and we do have a challenge that we have against each other. Okay, so we know in the end that regardless of what happens, that we're gonna be better off than we were when we started. So we're doing the, the biggest loser, basically. And this is not just for weight purposes, this is just for being healthy as well. Now, I wanna talk about what is a, um, a healthy lifestyle. And I had to think about it for myself. It means that we have to modify the things that we have control over, um, things um, like changes in our diets and our daily routine. These are things that most of us have control over. We can change our daily routine. If you have to be at work at eight, you know, get up an extra hour early and get done what you need to do. Or, you know, stay up late or whatever. During this pandemic, I found, I've learned a lot and I've learned a lot about me. The things that I thought I had, that I need of, um, I actually did not need. It. And the amount of money that we saved because we were kind of housebound and it caused us to caused us to think in a different manner, think outside the box, think outside of the things that we were so custom of doing. And even with my nails, <clears throat> had, I haven't, had, haven't had them done in over a year. Got the gel off, even the gel nail off even before, but I'm not gonna get into all of that on this particular video. But we've learned so much. <clears throat> And the things that we thought we'd eat, we really didn't eat. And I've learned to cook more, even though I enjoy cooking and entertaining, but I've learned to cook even more and cook healthier. And this has made a difference in both of us. So we do have control over, um, we can modify the things that we do have control over, all right? <clears throat> One thing I've learned, and when I was in Amer um, America years ago, that um, if we fail to plan, then we plan to fail. So we always have to have a plan. 
without a plan, it just leaves room for you to sway back and forth. You're not within boundaries or anything like that. So what we have decided to do is decided to avoid, this particular video <clears throat> is about food, um, decided to avoid sugary sweets, and that's been one of my downfalls, but throughout the years I have modified it a whole lot better. We have, um, we're not gonna have coffee. He drinks coffee, I drink coffee, but I don't drink coffee without creamer. These are things that we're avo avoiding, but what we're gonna be doing in its place is eating a lot of um, green uh, vegetables along with other vegetables. We're gonna be eating a lot of fruits and we're gonna be eating protein. We're gonna be limiting our carbs, not um, eating the starchy ones, but you know, eating the ones that's good for us. So let me go into some of the things that we're gonna be doing that we have already imp implemented. Um, six bottles of water a day. <clears throat> we choose to buy the bottled water. We buy spring water. The 16 ounce bottles of water, we've been impl uh, we implemented in our plan to drink six bottles a day. That amounts to 96 ounces of water in a day. And what I found out that, you know, water really cl cleanses your, you, you know, cleanses your body. And what I've been trying to do early mornings, and to say the first thing to drink is water with, uh, with lemon. Well, we've been using lemon, I mean, lemon juice. But water with lemon, it has a cleansing um, agent in it that just cleanses your body and everything. And where I used to drink ice cold water, now I'm drinking more like room temperature water. Um, I find out that, I don't know, I feel better. Maybe because it was hot during the summer that I drink a lot of ice cold water. But every now and then I like that. But for the most part, implement that water. That water is so, so important. I've always drunk a lot of water. We eliminated um, sodas. So we don't drink any pop or anything like that. So basically it's water, 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 water. But I want something different, then I'll make an iced tea, um, no caffeine, or either um, I'll just have hot tea, okay? Taking multivitamins. Um, since we started, we realized that this is something that we needed. So he has his brand of multiple vitamins, I have mine. And just get a good multiple vitamin that is going to work for you. Um, another thing is the Omega fish oil. There's so many different types of fish oil, but it's so, so good for you. Um, I chose to get the better grade, the better grade one because um, there's so many types and some are not good quality. So some things I don't mind putting my money into it. So we chose the Omega XL. And they're not sponsoring it at all. My mom's been on it for a couple years. And now that we're getting older, I realize that it's important to have that. So we're, you know, implementing the Omega XL, which is our, um, which is the, the, which has the fish oils in it that's good for your body. Another thing is vitamin C. This is the month of October. Yes, the pandemic is still here, but we take vitamin C year round my husband and I and my granddaughter, we take it year round. But the only thing around September time is when cold and flu season start. And we do not get flu shots. But I just refuse to have that flu injected in me. And my husband is the same way. So we do build up our immune system. Another thing to take, um, we take um, at least um, 1,000 milligrams a day during this time. During the summer, we take about 500. Um, um, emergency is excellent and also airborne, that's good. If we feel ourselves trying to get a cold, tinkling in our throat or whatever, we'll just go ahead and do the airborne or the emergency, but for the most part, we will do 500 milligrams, I mean 1,000 milligrams of the vitamin C. Okay, um, take a probiotic. That is so important for your digestive tract, just to keep everything working properly. And I'm gonna be doing another video basically to show you how we implement that. I try to eliminate as many vitamins and pills as possible. Some things I try to incorporate in my food. To give you an example of our, our plan, I'm gonna link this down below. This is a chart that I made up. 
and what I tend to call it is healthy lifestyle meal planning. I found out when my husband and I would lay in bed at night, usually on the weekend or whatever, we started on the 1st of October, which was on a Wednesday. So the night before we had already decided what we wanted to, to do. Um, and that made it easier for me. And as women, you know, I will say this, that basically we set the tone in the house because especially as virtuous women, you know, we know when we're preparing food, if we prepare healthy foods or throwing flax seed in something or something like that, things that are healthy, but yet good, you're, you're basically turning your, you know, helping your whole family to eat healthy, all right? So in this um, healthy lifestyle meal planning, is a section on here, it goes from Monday to Sunday, because most people start on Monday um, versus Sunday. Your breakfast, your first snack, your lunch, your second snack, your dinner, and your third snack. Now these snacks, if you feel that there's no need for them, you know, don't bother putting anything in here. Um, I'm gonna leave this down below so you can just print it out and use it for yourself. Hopefully, um, you're gonna travel on this journey with us, or you'll hear something here that will motivate you to change some things in your life to, to um, toward a healthier lifestyle. I'm going to give you an example of some of the things that we did. I don't have a lot of meals to show you, but I'll show you a few because basically we just started. For breakfast, what we chose to do, because we're trying to keep things simple, uh, we do a lot of protein shakes. At least that's what we're starting to do more and more now. So every morning we will get up and have a protein shake. In my next video, I'll be showing you how we put together a protein shake. So this video won't be long and I'll explain to you, you know, how we make quick soups and stuff like that that are healthy with fresh from the garden, vegetables or whatever. But we choose to do protein shakes. And with that, that covers everything we need for breakfast. Um, you can have a nutritious bar, um, breakfast bar, watch the carbs, watch the sugar in it because that you know, that could blow your whole diet. Not your whole diet, but I don't choose to call this a diet, just healthy eating. That can blow up for the whole day for you. Um, so I usually don't do breakfast bars unless I'm in a crunch for it. Um, oatmeal. Oatmeal is excellent. Um, if you get the oatmeal, and you can use fresh fruit in there, frozen fruit. You can use like bananas. Or we use a lot of blueberries. You can use nuts. Um, anything like that. And one of the things that I choose, by the way, I use a lot of the agave. Um, agave is a natural, um, low glycemic sweetener, meaning that it doesn't run your blood sugar up as soon as you eat it. So I choose to use this, but um, my husband uses the brown sugar. Uh, my granddaughter likes the brown sugar. So, you know, but do what works for you. And I'm gonna just show you some things that I basically use as well. For lunch, uh, we've been trying to have a salad every single day. But the key from being bored with salads, it just there's so many types of salads. We love the julienne salad with the egg and the, um, sometimes we'll cut up chopped ham or whatever in it. Um, we love the cop salads as well. I love spinach salads. So sometimes we'll switch it up with spinach and we will have the feta cheese, we'll have the walnuts and the cranberries. Um, sometimes I'll use the mixed greens or either the butter lettuce so we're not having the iceberg lettuce all the time. And the greener your lettuce, the better it is for you. So the darker lettuce, like the romaines and, and the spinach, is a lot better than the iceberg. But we just switch up and do a mixture. Sometimes I'll use mandarin oranges in it. Um, you do kind of like works for you and kind of experiment. You can slice apples in there. You can just put so much so you're not getting bored because the worst thing to do is to get so used to something, I don't even want any more of that, I'm so sick of it. And you have to just be creative and, and do things that's gonna really work. We choose to have um, our lunch as our biggest meal. And I read somewhere a long time ago is that because when you lunch, we're still moving around, you know, throughout the day. Dinner time, usually after we eat dinner, we, you know, chill out for a little while. We've gotten up early. Normally we're out walking at 7 a.m. And right now it's a little, you know, it's not bright and sunny. It's a little dark, a little chilly. So because we get up so early, um, 
we tend to retire, even if we're not asleep, just get in that relaxation mode. So I try to have a light dinner and have our biggest meal for lunch. For dinner, some of the things that we've used, at least one of our, our dinner meals I can show you, we had a, um, a veggie burger. Um, we love zucchini, carrots, and onions, and squash. We'll just saute them. I don't like mine mushy, but fix them however way you like. And um, just add a little garlic, gar uh, garlic powder. I use um, Himalayan salt. I do not use table salt anymore in all my cooking. And um, that worked out really good. And then we have a little brown rice. We try to stay away from the starchy stuff. The starchy stuff is gonna be your white rice, um, your white potatoes. Sweet potatoes are great. Um, sweet potato fries are good if they're baked. And just use options that will, you know, more baked things instead of fried things. Try, I don't wanna eliminate nothing until I try it. And that's what I'm telling you. Don't be afraid to just try things. Salmon is excellent. Um, sometimes we'll have a tuna salad. Not with the macaroni, just the tuna. And we'll have cheese and some fruit or stuff like that on the side for dinner. Because knowing if you are eating smaller meals and if you are incorporating two to three snacks in a day, you will not go hungry. Now your body may crave for carbs and sweets the first few days, but you will not go hungry. Because you're eating healthier, your body is getting the sugar that it needs from natural fruits. And it's not getting it from high fructose and stuff that's not really that healthy for you. Right. So these are just a few examples. I'm going to use leave a few pictures or or whatever, so you'll see some of the meals that we have prepared. Um, one thing I also want to say is de-stress your life. To live your best life to the fullest, I've learned sometimes I have to pull away from people. I have to pull away from situations. Some wars are not for us to fight. Some wars are not for me to get involved in. So I've learned that I'm, I'm at peace. I am at so much peace. And if I see stress or something coming, I run the other way because I don't want no part of it. So try to distress your life. If it means I have to get up early because I am I like to plan, I like to be as organized as I can. And sometimes you can't always be that way when emergencies pop up. So I try to plan as much as possible. Give an example. Um, because I'm cooking a lot more now and I really have so much going on in my life, I will go to the farmer's market, another tip, during the summer, we picked up so much stuff, food and vegetables and buying the corn, because we live out here where corn is so plentiful and so fresh. They're freshly pick it and have it right there within 15 minutes and you're buying it. So I'll cut it off the cob and I will freeze it. So just preparing all that ahead of time, onions and everything was ex least expensive in the summertime and green peppers, or oh, tons of it. So I cut them up and put them in Ziploc bags. So when I'm cooking things, it's already prepared. It's already cut up, a lot of the work is done. I just reach in the freezer, open the bag, and just drop it in the skillet. And, and if I'm making uh, spaghetti or, or something, or chili, you know, all that's there already. So I really cut down a lot of work, and I'm not really starting from scratch, because a lot of stuff is done for me. So those are ways that I, I was able to kind of cut corners. Another thing that's good, Brad's apple cider vinegar. Excellent. Um, be careful, I, if you are interested, I, could, I will do um, a video and include this. Um, just healthy and unhealthy ways with this. Well, I hate the taste of this, but I've learned that a lot of things that are not good, or that I don't like, because they're good for me, I'll do it. So, it lowers your blood, it does a lot. So um, if you're interested, I can do a video on that, but I take two, two teaspoons into eight ounces, of, well, I usually use four ounces of water, just to, to <laughs> get it down. But then I have to rinse my mouth, meaning I'll drink like a half a bottle of water because it does have acid in it. And acid is not good for, um, it's not good for your teeth, you know, because if it sits on your teeth, it will rot your teeth. So it's just good, good and bad. But it has a lot, a lot, believe me, a lot of good qualities in that. Some of the other things, I don't know if I mentioned snacks or not. I said nuts, fruits, organic um, vegetables. We eat a lot of tomatoes because 
A neighbor gives us quite a few tomatoes. I've canned so many. I froze tomatoes. I made sauce out of tomatoes. Um, this is a good tomato too. Our friend of ours, the Curry's, they blessed us with it when they came to stay with us. And this popcorn, I'm talking about awesome. This is really good. It has no sugar in it, no um, four grams of fiber, and trans fat, no grams, and saturated fat, only three grams. And um, a whole bag, it's only 430 calories. So when my husband and I split this, sometimes we'll lay in bed at night and um, we'll have popcorn while we're watching a movie or something or just chit chatting. So um, I've shared with you everything that I can think of. I will leave down below um, the healthy lifestyle milling plan. I hope and I hope that you will come on this journey with us and consider changing your lifestyle, modifying things in your life. Even if it's not nothing big, it could be something small. But whatever you do, just change it for the better. I'm determined that I'm going to come out of this pandemic better than I was before I went in it. And I know we all want to be healthy, you know. I, I, I don't want to be dependent on medication. I don't want to, I want to be able to live to, I'm here to see my grandchildren and my great grands, but I want to be around for them. And plus, I want to be the best that God has made me to be. You know, God has given us all this one body, which is our temple. And we have to use this temple and, and take care of it. And I'm a firm believer that when I do what I need to do in the natural, I can trust God to do what he needs in the spiritual. He can help me. Um, for instance, if a person has high blood pressure and you're eating a whole bunch of stuff that you know you're not supposed to, but you're yet trusting God, there's things that we have to do in the natural. You know, God is not going to take that pork chop out of our hand and tell, no, 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 you don't eat that. You know, we have to make the choice that we desire to want more out of our life, want to live our best life to the fullest. And it's a comp it's, it encompasses a lot of things. And we have to take the time. Yes, self-care takes time. I'm finding that out more and more, the more things I'm incorporating into self-care. But as I'm getting older, I know that it's so important. And it's so important you know, for all of us just to live the best that we can do, the best that we can. And so at this time, um, I'm saying bye for now. And I will see you in the next video. Please feel free to subscribe. We've got so much I'd like to share with you. And if there is anything in particular that you would like to know more about, for instance, like the apple cider vinegar or whatever, um, along with some other things, please leave it in the comment section below. That's what it's there for. I won't know what, what you want to hear. I don't mind researching. Um, that's what I enjoy doing. You know, it's one of my pastimes. I fear knowledge is power. And the word says that we perish within that lack of knowledge. The things that we don't know sometimes are the things that can hurt us. So the more we know, the more we are prepared, the more we can deal with and better our life, not just for ourselves, but also for our family and for our friends. And in doing that, we can also be able to share like I'm sharing with you. So come along this journey with us and um, stay tuned to the end of the month when we will tally everything and show you who was. The biggest loser. So thanks again for joining. We'll see you in the next video.